Yesterday, we began to tell you about the Palmetto State's premier military school making itself even more accessible for students. But due to some technical difficulties, the time got cut short. Here's Michael Higdon, who got to speak with the Citadel's provost about this initiative. Hey everyone, Michael Higdon here coming to you from our studio where we are talking with the provost of the Citadel, Sally Selden. Thank you so much for joining us. We are talking about a really cool initiative that the Citadel is doing in uh, guaranteeing admission for military school graduates. Talk to us about what that really means. Well, thanks for having me. I'm really excited to talk about this. This is a great initiative. We have a number of high schools that are military high schools and they participate in something called the Association for Military Colleges and Schools of the United States. And uh, we are really excited to have an agreement where students who are graduating from those schools can have a direct admissions process into the Citadel. So it streamlines that process for them. And from our perspective, we know that students who've been in those settings are really committed to service and they've demonstrated their ability to thrive in an environment that is based on discipline, much like we have at the Citadel. So you were talking about this is uh, for high school students. Are those high school students who have committed to going into the military and then can uh, come back to the Citadel or walk me through how that kind of works? Absolutely. Well, not necessarily. So many students will choose to go to a military high school because they want the structure and the discipline and they know that they're gonna do better academically in that setting. So some of the students may opt to go into the military after they graduate from college, others may not. But when they find out that they do well in a military setting, they're likely to think about, well, would I wanna to go to college in a military setting? And if that's the pathway, they have then the choice, if they were to matriculate to the Citadel to choose whether or not to go into the military, and many of our graduates choose not to do the military, but they find that they do really well professionally because they've really honed those skills, the leadership skills that you get at the Citadel. They've honed their ability to be attentive to details. They, they've really developed their professional work skills as well. Amazing. Obviously, a lot of conversations go into a partnership like this. Mm -hmm. Walk us through uh, how long it's kind of taken to get here and, and what that means for the Citadel specifically as well. Absolutely. Um, our director of admissions has really navigated this beautifully. He worked with, we, we're part of this association of military colleges and schools of the United States. And really through that organization, there are more than 30 schools that participate. So they came together and they negotiate this agreement. And so it's taken a, a, you know, just well over a year to really do that. However, we have a long history of matriculating graduates from those high schools into the Citadel. Now what we've done is we've made that pathway easier for those prospective cadets. Amazing. How many people are you expecting to take advantage of this? You know, that's hard to predict, but I would imagine between 20 to 25 students on average a year might opt to, you know, to pursue this pathway. Amazing. And if people are interested in learning more about the either the qualifications or what they need to know about it, how where, where can they learn it? Well, I would encourage them to think about looking at our admissions page, but more importantly, I would invite them to attend one of our Inside the Gates. And this is where we bring prospective cadets to campus. And so they'll spend a couple days on campus. They'll room in our barracks with one of our current cadets and they'll, they'll kind of see what life is like at the Citadel. And we're having two of those events in February, February 8th and February 29th. Now, it's not just for students who have an interest in the AMSCUS partnership, but it would be any student. In fact, we'd encourage our local students, if they have an interest in being in an academic environment like the Citadel, we'd encourage them to attend as well. Amazing, that full-fledged experience, get, letting, you, letting them experience what it would be like to go to the Citadel. Right? Absolutely, including spending a night in the barracks, by the way, and they're a little tired in the mornings when they wake up. <laughs> I love it, all right, perfect. <laughs> Sally Selden, thank you so much for joining us. If you would like to learn more, of course, we will have the link to the Citadel's website on our, our website, lifeivenews.com, under the Big Red Box.